Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa sallallahu ala sayidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So we will start uh, for our fifth class in the uh, Safinatul Najah. We already finished about the the how to make wudu, how to make uh, ghusl and now is the condition of the wudu. So he said faslun shurutil wudu'i asharatun qala shaykhun al-musanni rahimahullah wa nafa'ana bihi wa bi'ulumihi fi darayn amin al-awwalu al-islamu wa tamyizu wa naqa'u 'anil hayd wa an-nifas wa 'amma yamna'u wusul al-ma'i ila basharati wa an la yakuna 'ala al-'udwi ma yughayyiru al-ma'i wa 'ilmu bi fardiyyatihi wa la wa an la ya'taqid fardan min furudihi sunnatan wal ma'u tahur wa dukhul al waqti wal muwalat li daimi al hadas right now we want to uh, discuss about the condition of wudu at tens right this is the condition of wudu it's different from the obligatory act of the wudu the obligatory act is rukun arkan the condition is what make it the wudu uh, accepted Okay, are accepted. First, the people that making wudu are Islam. That's the condition. If you have some siblings just trying to making a wudu, but he's still not a Muslim, right? He's not Muslim, so he can do it. But is it uh, considered as wudu? No, he doesn't consider it as act of ibadah. Then the second one is age of understanding, mumayyiz. He must reach the age of understanding, the age of discern, discernible age that we discussed last last time. Then the three, the third one is clear, cleanliness from menstruation and postnatal bleeding. This is one of the question, common question being asked to me. People are always asking, Ustaz, can we making wudu when we are in menstrual? No. Why? Because the condition are not met. We must clean. Cleanliness from menstruation means that we already the the menstrual and the postnatal bleeding already stop. That's the mean by that. But let uh, so can we can we take a bath in what is mean bath by ritual bath or can we take a wudu uh, to raf'ul uh, hadasi to to take out to take the impurity out so we said it is not permissible all right it is not permissible and it consider haram why you consider playing with the with the rule of the religion Okay, but if you taking uh, ba- uh, taking bath just yeah for cleanliness then it's okay, not the ritual bath. Or you want to take a wudu to take a ablution for what? For the sunnah of sleeping, right? For before sleeping you are you are uh, one of the sunnah, uh, one of the the recommended act before sleeping uh, to take a, a ritual uh, to take an ablution. So that is okay. This is okay. Or you taking bath for ritual bath for let's say you are menstrual on the Hajj. So when you go to Arafah, you still have the uh, recommended to do the ritual bath, the sunnah of uh, wash, uh, washing the body on the day of Arafah. Okay, if you do the Hajj lah, if you do the the Hajj. Okay. Now he said, uh, three cleanliness from menstruation and postnatal bleeding. The fourth being free from that which prevent the water from reaching the skin. What is mean by that? Uh, if you are uh, uh, like siang ikan, what? Siang ikan. Huh? Skinning the fish, right? So if the scale of the fish on top of your hand or things like that, that that prevented uh, the water from reaching your skin, you need to remove it first. Uh, like you have some. That's why. The tattoo is one of the problematic things in in Islamic Islamic uh, tradition. Okay. Yeah, we said the the water cannot go through. Even though they said the actually is go under the skin, right? Yeah. 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 Wallah alam. Okay. Wallah alam. Yeah, it's controversial. Most of the most of the scholars say the tattoo uh, are are not are considered uh, preventing. Consider permitting. No. Wallah alam. I need to check it back. But in our Shafi'i Mazhab, the, the discussion is when the people are dying, uh, when people are dead, 
how I, uh, we need to wash his body or not. Because why? Because if we're not washing his body, uh, we uh, cannot pray for them. Yeah, that's the problem. So how, what's the... the, 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 the okay, yes? What about reverse? What about reverse? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why we said if... Uh, if it is uh, can be removed without any difficulties, he said. But yeah, the truth is sakit lah kan. Yeah. But if you can, then you need to remove it. If not, then it's dimaafkan lah. Dimaafkan. Yeah, I'm not sure why the scholars are are need, but the their understanding is it is considered as considered as uh, preventing. Ah, uh, inai is not. Ah, uh, we will, we will, we will talk about it. Uh, inai is not considered as preventing. Why? Because the number five, he said, nothing should be upon the limb that will change the quality of water. Right? This two point is uh is really important. What he mean by preventing is that let's say you have an uh, a pen, an ink, right? What is different between uh, a ball pen and the pen? Uh, pen basah apa? Fountain pen. Fountain pen. All right. Fountain pen and ball pen. What's the difference between that? If you use the ball pen, it's considered not preventing. But if you use a fountain pen, then it's considered consider prevent. Why? Because the ball pen it just an athar. Athar is kesan. Kesan is trace. It's just a trace of the ink. It's not in itself. But the fountain, the ink itself on your 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 limbs. So you need to remove it first because it preventing or it will change the 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 quality of water. <coughs> okay, that's why we said the if it just the athar the the trace is okay. Like. Some I I happen to me when I go to the chemical lab. Uh, there's some some chemical if it exposed to the sun, it will making your 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 hand uh, black. Uh, so you try to wash, wash, wash the the black is not going out. Uh, but is it okay? No, it is okay. It's same as inai. It is as as uh, inai lah. Inai apa? Henna. henna, right? Is it is the same? Why? Because henna. It, the uh, the color itself is coming from the from the from the dye from the leaf. We already remove the leaf. What 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 uh, left is the trace only. That's why it's okay. So if the tattoo is like the inai, it's okay. <coughs> but if it's like the ball, uh, like the fountain pen, it's not. Uh, that's the difference. Okay. So you can you can understand the difference why why the the khilaf of the problem, okay, all right. So if it is the trace, then it's okay. Like using ball pen, ball pen, right? Like kilometrico things like that. Is uh, that's okay. How we want to determine? If you see at in at uh, at your palm, at your finger, you see your your finger finger what? Fingerprints. Kind of the lekuk lekuk tu. You have some the curve things like that. If it, you see the curve, then it is just the trace. But you, if you you see it flat, it means there is some 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 ain in there, some some things in there, uh, some some matter in there. So you need to remove it. Okay, so you need to remove. It. So the, if you can what the. Eh, kesan memang tak payah remove. Kesan tak payah remove. The, the, like, like the henna, you you doesn't need to remove it. What you need to remove is the thing like the 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 thing that left. Yeah, the left. Uh, what want to say? Ain. Uh, ah, Z. The essence of the thing. Uh, you mean like the ink? The ink still on, on on top of your of your finger. You need to remove it. But if the ink already already uh got got out just left the trace the trace is okay yeah the color is still there it's okay no problem that's why it is uh dimaafkan 
uh, it is uh, uh, not permissible lah dimaafkan ni forgivable ke macam teruk sangat bunyi ya it accepted it excuse it's excuse if like let's say you have some najis in your in your in your uh, light CD uh, you have traces of blood right you already clean it okay you already clean it but the 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 color you know the there is already doesn't have any blood in your in your things or the najis already gone but the color is still there it's uh, excuse you have been excused by that it's same as the trace okay the trace is excused because why is difficult to difficult to get get it out totally all right okay but you need to do your due diligence lah to cuci betul betul then if you already do that and it's still the trace is still there then it's okay no problem for the najis lah for other than najis the trace is okay they totally permissible like the henna things like that okay right hmm Where? Mana ni? Oh, okay. Number six, knowledge of it wuduk being obligatory. That's why in number seven he said not to assume the fault, the obligatory act as sunnah recommended. Like let's say you say, oh, the washing of the face only is sunnah, and then your 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 wuduk is is invalid. Okay. But if you say, ah, oh, the washing of the head must be uh, all right. Like like we say, it just part of part of the head. But you say no, the obligatory is all. Ah, then it's okay. If you're making the sunnah a wajib, a obligatory, a recommended things become a, a obligatory things, it's okay. Ah, uh, same as solah. Then we uh, we will we will see again in the prayer. You must uh, believe. You must assume the far is far. The sunnah is sunnah. You must not uh, making or assume the far is a sunnah. Then it will make the 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 ibadah uh, obsolete, alright, invalid. Okay, if you uh, thinks the recommended thing, the sunnah thing is a fard, then it's okay, no problem. Making making the recommended to the fard is okay. To making the fard or obligatory things to sunnah is is not is considered not meeting the condition. Okay, the number eight, the number eight is you must use pure water. Okay, pure water. We uh, we will discuss about type of water, inshallah. And then number nine and number ten entering the time of solat and continuity mualat for a person who constantly remains in the state of impurity. Okay, previously we already I asked about if you remember what about if we uh, washing our face uh, in here in Medina. Then we uh, wash our hand in IIUM in UM. Then we go to the masjid negara to wash our head. Then to masjid wilayah to wash our feet. Is it uh, is it valid our wudu? Yes, we already said that. But in a condition, what if we are not in the state of constantly remain in the state of impurity? What is mean by that is mean we are not in the da'imul hadas. The word in Arabic is called da'imul hadas. People that are, that are who constantly remains in the state of impurities. Like we say about the people of mustahadah. People are called uh, go, uh, having this uh, istihadah. Istihadah what? English lah. Huh? It's a term lah. Uh, the blood of uh, sick people. Uh, the blood of sick people. Okay. Uh, the the uh, the blood that uh, that are being uh, keluar yang being uh, what discharge alright the blood that be discharge over the the term over the the possible time for the for the menstrual okay so that is the istihada so people of istihada or the people that kencing tak lawas what in English Contin incontinence eh ah oh, tu tak tahu kena tulis lah macam mana nak eja ni incontinence eh c c i n c i n oh i n c o n t i t i 
N E N C E. Uh, incontinence. Okay. Alright. So incontinence people uh, ni this kencing talawas. Dia ada juga we call uh, salasil baul is uh, incontinence. Salasil reh people that always uh, fart. Salasil mazi people always uh, discharge the mazi water. Salasil mani always uh, exit the semen. Uh, this is type of people are, are considered in always and constantly remains in the state of impurities. Okay. They are dia condition need to enter the time of solat then uh, they can make their wudu is the same like the tayammum then after this we will go to the to the to the uh, condition of tayammum when we can make at our time so if the let's say the the time of the solat the time of the prayer are 1:30 you making your wudu in 1:29 so your wudu is invalid yeah understand right okay So the wudu is invalid. You need to 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 make your wudu in the when the solat uh, when the time of solat already already come. Okay? Yes. Um, sometimes when we are in wudu, okay. and someone comes and talks to you, and we are obliged to answer. Okay. Is that invalid? No. No. Okay. It's not invalid. It's okay. But it's makruh lah. It's makruh. It's it's dislike. Is this like, right? Like people are talking while taking a wudu, right? Uh, to the member at the at the sebelah, so it is also macro. Okay. All right. Finish. Now, nawaqidul wudu arba'atun. Things that making uh, the the wudu uh, nullify the wudu. Okay. There is four only four things that nullify the wudu. What? Right? Awalu خارج من أحد سبيلين من قبل أو دبر ريح أو غيره إلا المني الثاني زوال العقل بنوم أو غيره إلى نوم قاعد ممكن مع عاده من الأرض الثالث التقاء بشرتي رجل وامرأة كبيرين أجنبيين من غير حائل الرابع مس قبل الأدمي أو خلق halqati duburihi bi batni rahati aw butuni asabi all right now he said this are the factor that nullify the wudu are four only four there is nothing other than this four okay so if people asking you is this uh, invalidate my nullify my wudu if not consider in any of these thi- these four things there is not uh, people always asking this all too right Ustaz, how uh, we we read first, then we 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 talk about what people always ask. Okay, the first thing is anything that exit from either the front or the rear private parts, whether winds or anything else. Okay, either uh, cacing kerawit ke keluar tak kisah. Okay, except cement, except cement. Alright, so cement is uh, is making you uh, obliged to do the ritual bath, but it's not wudu. Okay. What's the hikmah? Yeah, people, the scholars are talking about this in long, uh, but it's not uh, really uh, uh, necessary to us to to discuss it. Okay, number two, loss of intellect through sleep or co- other causes, except sleep while firmly seated on the ground, like like you are sit right now. Okay, if you are seated sitting like like this and you are sleeping. Then it's considered not not uh, you're not uh, not nullifying your your wudu, okay? Uh, even bersanda, even your inclining or like like this, can like a man when uh, Jumaat prayer, okay? Uh, no, it's normal lah. <laughs> yeah, it's not invalidated. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Just when uh, the 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 condition is you sleep firmly seated on the ground. What is firmly seated? It means that your buttock is flat. Your buttock is flat. Why? Because the scholar said when your buttock is flat, this are uh, impossible to 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 nila. Yes. No. No. If you lie down, it's not. Just sitting. Same. 
Uh, uh, yeah, when even you lie down flatly, it's not the same as you are sitting. Oh, mm. lie down, not asleep, just lie down. Ah, no, it's, it's, not, it's not invalidate. It's not nullify. It's okay. It's okay. The, the, the thing is, why, why we say the sleeping is not, is not making the, the, it's not really the, the, the condition that making the wudu nullify. But because you are not knowing, are you, are you nullifying it or not? So that's the problem, the main problem. Because you cannot control things. You cannot control. So that's why it's making it it's, uh, nullify. If not, then it's okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. All right. Uh, loss of intellect is mean uh, gila jadi gila kan? Crazy people. Or even if you are terlampau sedih, kan? You are in in terlampau sedih. Depressed kan? You depressed sampai gila. Or you are very happy kan? Ada orang gelak gila gila sampai tergila kan? Gila gelak sampai gila. Uh, okay, there's some people are uh, in the extreme of joy. They are lost their mind. That also uh, invalidate, uh, nullify your wudu. Okay? So, that's why he said, any other causes. Number three, skin to skin contact between an adult, non-mahram means marriageable, male and female without any barriers. What it means is skin to skin contact. If even you have a slight like a satin or a... Apa orang pakai tu? Kain. Lace, lace. Even you, your contact are in between the lace is not uh, nullify your wudu. Okay? Not nullify. Doesn't. If you have uh, something in between lah. This mean skin to skin. Okay? But, what is mean by skin to skin? You see, uh, there is some footnote uh, down here. He said, ah, yeah, ada tak? Oh, at the, at the different page. Yeah, I just, I just explain here lah. Uh, skin to skin, what it mean? Uh, it means skin. If you are touching like teeth, uh, it's not. Teeth. Gigi. Uh, like you teeth to teeth kan? Dia bukan nak bercium, teeth to teeth. <laughs> okay. Uh, touch the head, touch the knee, touch the eye. Okay, it's not. But touch the the lips, touch the tongue uh, is consider touch. Tak sengaja, Ustaz. Tak sengaja pun batal. Ada school kata tak batal. We are consider batal. Yep. We consider batal walaupun tak sengaja. Well, in Shafi'i lah, in Shafi'i school. Yeah? The nail also. Like you touching like like this, right? Uh, that, no. uh, it's not, it's not nullify. In even in ruksa, we said the muqtama of the mazhab said it is nullified. But there is some position in the mazhab said the one that are touching are the one that will nullify their wudu. The one that being touching are not nullified. Uh, there is some 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 position in in Shafi'i mazhab. This normally they using when you are doing uh, the Hajj and Umrah lah. Okay. Alright? Okay. Okay, number four, touching the private part of human with palm or the inner surface of the finger. What is mean by palm? This. And the inner surface of the finger. What is mean by inner surface of the finger? Anything that telangkuk, anything that meets when we do this. Uh, this is the one that will nullify. In between, like tengah-tengah ni, uh, yang tu tak nullify. If you are... Uh, if yang, the one that nullify is the thing that if we touch the the thing that we touch uh, the thing uh, uh, the private part with which uh, whichever area that meets when we do like this, okay, all right. This is the one that that will that will uh, make it nullify. But if you use things like let's say like you washing Hamza uh, ni right, you use like this, uh, you okay. It will not nullify your wudu. Okay? It will not nullify your, your wudu. Because why? It's not it's not meeting when when you doing this. Well, because <laughs> 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 
The rational is first. Ah, uh, wallah alam. What what is that? Uh, there is the dalil for that. All right. And the scholars when they when they ask uh, when they the prophet say one thing. All right. In the hadis, uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala said they are defining which area is that part. When Allah Taala said, "Fasilu wujuh hakum," which part is wujuh? When Allah Taala said, "Fasilu wujuh hakum," wash your face. Which part is face? So when the Prophet said, "It's you touching with your <coughs> touching," which part is calling it touching? You're not touching like this. You're not touching in that, right? Normal touching is like this. Okay, that's the rational. So if like this, it's not called touching. Then it's We con we consider it's not nullify. Okay. Yeah, like this, no, no problem. Did he touch what? Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, touch the the wife. Oh no. If touching, touching the this what he means by touching the private parts, not touching others. Ah, no, your own. Other, others pun sama juga. But the private part lah. Ah, the hukum about the private part, the the ahkam, the ruling about the private part, it must be touching with this, the palm. Okay. Other than palm, we cannot consider it as as invalidate the the wudu. Let's say uh, like you washing your son using like this, like let the his or uh, uh, ni you just right at the back of your hand. It's okay. It's not invalidate. That's the mean by that. But if you touching others, uh, woman, others people that are marriageable, even like this, uh, it's still invalidate. Yeah, it's still invalidate. It's because he said skin to skin, number four, number four. So this one is for the private part. Okay, for the private part. Okay, right. Yes. Ha, okay. No. No wajib sunnah. Right. Okay. So normal people are always asking me this. Normally, what? Uh, Ustaz, is it invalidate if my my uh, is it nullify my wudu if uh, I'm touching a pupu, I'm touching a najis, right? Is it invalidate? No, it invalidate your solah, but it's not invalidate your wudu. You need to wash lah before your solah. Okay, so take the different. Uh, so, sometimes people mix mixing up things like that. Ustaz, I dah ambil wudu. I already take my wudu, then I I I'm eating. Is it inv- uh, nullify my wudu? No. Why why invalidate? Right. Uh, so there's some 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 question. But if you eating some meat or uh, the camel meat, uh, so there is uh, the uh, another hukum. It is sunnah to to make a wudu because the prophet taking a wudu when when apa eating after eating the after eating the camel camel meat. Okay. They eating the camel meat. That is the sunnah. If you are ready, ni, then you can uh, proceed to your salah directly. No problem. Okay. All right. Number. All right. Now we want to say manin qada, manin ta qada wudu uhu haruma alaihi arbaatun. Now we want to enter about the things that we are, we are. Not permissible to for us to do when our wudu are nullified or our ritual bath. We are in the major impurities or we when we are on the menstrual or in the height uh, or in nifas. So he said, manin manin taqadu wudu uhu haruma alaihi arbaatu ashya. Number one, as salatu wa tawafu wa masul mushafi wa hamluhu wa yahrum ala al junub sitatu ashya. الصلاة والطواف ومس المصحف وحمله واللبوث في المسجد وقراءة القرآن وقراءة القرآن ويحرم عن الحيد عشرة أشياء الصلاة والطواف ومس المصحف وحمله واللبوث في المسجد وقراءة القرآن والصوم والطلاق والمرور في المسجد إن خف تلويثه والاستمتاع بما بين السرة والركبة. Right now he said. 
the forbidden action for a person in the state of minor purity, impurity, that is, which is that in need of wudu, are for number one is salah, number second is tawaf, number third is touching or carrying the Quran. Okay, so touching or carrying the Quran, or touching the things that related to Quran. Let's say some of the Quran have box come with them, right? So even touching the box, ah, huh? haram. Or touching the almari of Quran, ah, uh, the almari lah, the apa? Uh, not covered. The the rack, uh, the the book rack, right? That have Quran there also uh, haram. Okay, also haram. Okay. Yeah. They are touching it, right? So, Allah Allah. But to say, yeah. they do not know why in the in the package, right? Normally, they do not know. Right. Some people are putting it. Please do not uh, langkah kan Quran, buka agama dan sebagainya kan. So. It's okay, no problem. It's considered darurah. It's considered darurah. And it's better if you bring another book with that. Then it's considered you can carry it without any wudu. And the Quran. Then it's okay. Yeah. No, not tafsir. Not including. <coughs> it's just the, the mushaf of Quran. Without tafsir, without terjemahan, without anything. Yeah. Okay? So if tafsir terjemahan is okay, the translation right is okay, no problem. Uh, okay, uh, yes. Just a small booklet of Yasin is it considered Quran? Consider, consider of ayatul Quran. So consider Quran. So co still consider you need to uh, have a wudu lah. Ah, if have with that translation, then it's okay. Yeah, that is called wafa. Wafa, wafa is permissible with uh, some condition. Yeah, it's permissible. First, you know what is being right is Al Quran or some dua that we know the the meaning of it. If we do not know, sometimes yeah, they using the old language, the ancient language, right? Like when I one one my friend put uh, uh, put on YouTube the the song to call the jin, the song to call the Pontiana. <laughs> they have in the YouTube if you wish lah yeah, to dengar so uh, or if you you put things you, you do not understand the, the the language so if you put things like that and uh, then it's not permissible but if you put that and you uh, you need to do that? no um, wafa no it's not considered it's, it, because it's um, I check back I have I have uh, encountered that, that question, but I'm forgetting the answer. It's considered as Al Quran still, uh, but uh, because the there is different between you need to hold it, then when you are writing it, uh, there's different hukum for that. So I I'll check back on that if the wafa is ayatul Quran. Normally they are using uh, other doa also, so then it's it is okay, but uh, yeah. To, to confirm. I'll check back. InsyaAllah. Okay. So, there is, not, uh, there is the four thing for the person in the minor P impurity. What if the person in major impurities? So, adding uh, two more, what, uh, which is what? Touching, carrying and reciting. Reciting Quran. For the people, people in the minor impurity, they still can read the Quran. Let's say like you are reading, tiba-tiba you are you are fat, right? Farting. Then you are want to continue your reading. Then it's okay. Just don't touch. But how you want to take to another page? So that's why the one of the hikmah of old people, right? They they put the lidi dalam tu, the the lidi cucu sate tu. What we call what? Lidi stick je lah kan? Sate stick, okay? Sate stick. So but you you must know the technique if not you are consider carrying the the Quran so you need to dalam bahasa kita panggil menyelak 
menyelak Quran. Menyelak apa? Flip the page. Flip the page is how is like this. Let's say, let's say, uh, let's say this is the page. If you are flipping like this, you are consider tanggung. You are consider carrying. But if you flip like this, like you just, uh, that is consider flipping. That is permissible. When you are in the not in, uh, in the in the minor impurities, you know, uh, this is the skill that now these people are uh, do not know lah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey, you want like, to continue? Oh, why I'm making so difficult? Yeah. What what what's mean by that? Okay. All right. Why so many rules? Because you are in the state of impurities. Because it's because of the respect you give. Yeah. Yeah. That, but yeah, we see it. We cannot touch the Quran when we are in the state of main impurities. That's it. Yeah, that's the rule. So that's why, if you do, don't want to to read, then don't read. If you want to read, just follow the rules. That's the 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 thing. This 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 religion. <coughs> Making the instruction, making the rules to ease people. It's not making it difficult for us. There is uh, some of the other mazhab. You, yeah, you can you, you can use other mazhab, things like that. That, but I think in four mazhab say always say that to touch the Quran, all need all need a wudu lah. Ah, yeah. It's making easier lah the techniques. If you uh, let's say to making another wudu are uh, difficult for you, so that's why they teach this way how to to how the way that is permissible to do the things in that way. Yes. In the pregnant. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can read it as as zikir, the 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 intention of zikir, making making intention of remembering, not re intention of re uh, reading the Quran. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Macam mana? Sekali lagi. Okay. Ah, no. Is it validate? Ah. <laughs> wow. Wallah alam. I, I also doesn't, haven't counted that kind of question yet. I, I ask my teacher inshallah. Is it considered as we have the khatam of Quran? Yeah, you you have the the yeah because the 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 benefit are different with the intention of reading the Quran and the intention of remembering. Yeah, is have the different kind of that. Yeah, I'll ask them. Inshallah, I ask the teacher. Okay. Yeah, uh, that is also not in the Mazhab Shafi'i. Mm. That is in Maliki, Maliki Mazhab. But not but the 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 fatwa of wilaya. I think they use that. The Maliki one. Yes. The question is, uh, if you are kind of uh, sedang belajar, kan? if you are. In the in the learning process of the Quran, and you are in the menstrual or in the postnatal bleeding, so uh, some of the mazahib are say permissible you to 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 still learn. Uh, normally, learning is not not a difficult, not a really issue. The issue is when you take exam. Yeah, so some people in DQ, right, in uh, Darul Quran, Jakim, or in the Tahfiz, yeah, they have the schedule uh, of uh, exam. 
macam mana dia nak baca kalau tengah time tu right so the question is, is rising about that so some people say yeah uh, it is permissible uh, in the other context of uh, other mazhab context Okay. Then he said, uh, the okay, and to remain in the masjid. So for the people that is impurity, major impurity, he cannot uh, stay in the masjid. He need to to move out from the masjid. Okay. So it is uh, forbidden uh, to him to remain in the masjid. For the person in the state of menstruation, including the postnatal bleeding, he need first he the forbidden action is salat. Tawaf, touching, carrying the Quran, remain in the masjid, reciting the Quran, fasting, and then uh, he cannot fasting. Number eight is divorce is for his man lah. The man cannot divorce his wife. Uh, the forbidden act is for the man, for the husband to divorce his wife uh, when the wife is in the menstrual. Okay, is the uh, but the 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 talak is uh, is being uh, ni lah, being established lah. Okay. The talak is uh, valid, but is the 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 action is haram, okay? The action is haram, but the talak is valid, okay? Is consider, uh, is consider, alright? Number nine to pass through the masjid for a woman who thinks her blood might soil the masjid. So uh, she re- cannot re- uh, cannot remain in the masjid, but she can uh, like crossing the masjid, okay? What I mean by crossing is entering in one door and uh, going out for another door. If he, uh, if she uh, entering in one door and patah balik, uh, round about, uh, turn over, uh, yeah, you turn, banyak <laughs> tu, uh, you turn, then is consider, consider, consider remain in the masjid and it's haram. Okay, Alright. that's the 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 dobit lah. Okay. So it is, but uh, who thinks her blood might soil the masjid? If she doesn't think her blood might soil the masjid, is considered macro. Is considered dislike. Okay, is considered dislike. And number ten to take sexual pre- uh, pleasure from what is between the navel and the knees. Uh, this for the men's lah, for the for the for the husband. Okay, baik. First one, asbabu tayamu thalasa. The why we are doing tayamum is because of three things. Number first, fakdul ma, the missing of the water. Number two, marat uh, sickness. Uh, number three, wahtiyaju ilahi li atashil hayawan al muhtaram wa ghayr muhtaram sittatun tariku salah wa zani muhsan wal murtad wal kafir harbi wal kalbul akur wal khinzir. Uh, the the ha actually uh, not not you need to sambung, you need to uh, wasal kan? Alright. So the causes of tayammum dry ablution are three. Number one is absence of water. There is no water, but the the ahkam is quite long about how you want to see the absence of the water. How how uh, the, which area uh, uh, along uh, our way that we said uh, are missing uh, uh, absence of the water. Number two is illness. Some people uh, maybe have uh, skin illness, so you need to cannot use water. So then he can, he can use the, he can use uh, tayammum. Number three, need for water exists by oneself or worthy animals. Means that you have water, but the water you need to drink. Uh, either you drink or you making wudu. So the syarat say, yeah, no, you drink, then you making tayammum. Okay, so for that. Or for us, uh, for we, uh, either we are drinking or other worthy animal. Who are worthy animal? Other than six, uh, these six, six people or animal. Which one? Number one. Uh, the six, what? The six person claris, claif, classify as as unworthy. Okay. Other than the six, they are considered as worthy. Then we are uh, consider can do tayammum if we want. If we want to give them water. For these six people or animal, uh, they are not considered as worthy. Okay, number one, a person who forsake salah, the, the person that forsake salah, uh, we consider not not muhtaram, ghayr muhtaram, right? Tariku salah, the people that forsake salah. Number two, a convicted married adulterer. Okay, a convicted married adulterer. 
ya yeah. zani muhsan and it mean zani the people that already married and making adult adultery alright number 3 an apostate a murtad number 4 a non muslim from a non muslim country that has war with the muslim country uh, this is the way. not all non muslim no the non muslim we call kafir harbi harb uh, the kafir the non muslim that we making war with them that they making war with us lah in initially okay number 6 is a vicious dog not all dog just the vicious anjing gila yeah anjing yang mengganas right And number six, number six is pig, okay, a piggy. Walaupun dia comel, okay, tikap pig ke apa saya kira. Alright, walaupun comel lah, kesian lah tengok dia kan. Tapi, okay. Alright, this is uh, about the to to explain about the number number three. Then he said the shuru tu tayamum asharatun. I think our time is up. Ayakuna biturabin Wallah ta'ala alam So we will continue about this thing uh, About the shuru to tayamum And then after that we will show about the tayamum I already have the video InsyaAllah next class Next week we will show it InsyaAllah Any question? Yes Okay 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 Ya, yeah. that's why in the Mahari Mulisan said uh, Imam Muhammad Maulud said, if uh, the Al Quran being played or maybe being recited, the minimum condition if you want to speak, you must speak at the same level. You cannot speak louder than that. If you speak louder than that, it's considered haram. The the best the perfect way is to hear and listen. But if you need to 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 that's why when you maybe you are uh, use uh, apa hearing Aikim in the car right. So when you are talking with your spouse with your friend just close if they are current reciting the Quran. Wallah alam. So meet we meet again. Uh, in next class wallahu ala wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya rabbana atrafna bi anna atrafna wa anna asrafna ala ladha ashrafna fatub alayna tawbah taghsil li kulli hawbah wa sulli lana al'awrati wa amin ru'ati wa fil walidina rabbi wa mauludina wa ahli wa ikhwani wa sa'irin khillani wa kulli dhi mahabba aw jiratin aw sahba wal muslimina ajma amin rabbi fasma' fadla wa juda manna لا باكتساب منا بالمصطفى الرسول نهض بكل سولي صلى وسلم ربي عليه عد الحبي وآله وصحبه عدادة الشصحب والحمد لله في البدء والتناهي وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسبيح كفر ودان سورة سبحانك اللهم ولكم دي أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعاص إن الإنسان لا في خص إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته